Hey folks, Jerome Forsford here. It's 5.32 p.m. on July 12, 2024 in West End, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It is 22 degrees outside on a sunny evening in the city. In this video, I walk for 1.4 kilometers, starting outside of Canna Cabana at 12.08 Davie, then stroll northwest along Davie, ending my trek at English Bay Beach Park. To support the channel, click the heart icon to send me super thanks. For updates, follow me on TikTok and Instagram at jforestwood. And if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, share it, and subscribe. Hey you folks, Jerome Forsford here, just walking along Davy Street, moving from uh, the, and crossing Jervis Street, we're moving from the retail area of uh, the Davy Village into the, the residential area. There's a few more shops up ahead, including Inara, which is an excellent Indian restaurant. And then after that is the old Barbarella shop. I'm not sure if they're still calling it that, we'll find out in a sec. And then there's a lot, not in grocery store right next to it too, which is actually top notch. So here's NRO over here. And I guess they're just calling it uh, the barber shop or yeah, the ground day barber shop. Very cool. You got a tattoo studio in there too. It looks pretty good. And then this is Al Chili over here. Not your uh, Latin grocery store in the area. There's another Latin grocery store all the way over at Robson and Demon Street, way over there in that direction, um, called uh, Terra Nova, which is a chain. So either one is great to get your supplies in if you're looking for those Latin-focused ingredients. Let's keep walking here along this strip. This popular strip and the streets around this area in the West End, uh, um, you know, have a variety of uh, different people that live in the area. Okay, but it, it is densely packed with a lot of people from the queer community as well, because that's what the Davy Street is known for, and Davy Village is known for here in the West End. Keep walking down here right now. But there is a variety of other people that choose to live in this area as well. It's because you're in a really a desired location down here in the West End. You're very close to Stanley Park, which is just a few blocks over that way, past those towers. <clears throat> English Bay Beach. It's literally at the terminus of Davy Street down here, where Davy Street turns into a Morton Park and the Davy Pla Papa Plaza, which is more of a permanent plaza now. All the Papa Plazas in Vancouver have turned into permanent plazas. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> it looks like there's a one bedroom available over here in Nicola right now. Uh, Holly Burton. Holly Burton is a nice rental agency. They do maintain their buildings fairly well. They will slowly raise the price on you, but that's just the cost of renting. In a city like this, most landlords will do that. Uh, and this time around, it's uh, the price raise is capped at 3.5%. Uh, well, that could change. Keep walking. Hey, 
And after this section, uh, the strip turn merges back into a bit of a residential area mixed with commercial at the bottom. And then we transition once we get down to the intersection of JV and Denman Street into the Denman Village. Which runs along Denman Street. And that's a major retail strip in area as well with a lot of different restaurants and shops for the tourist industry as people will come down for both Stanley Park and English Bay Beach. This is the intersection of Cardero and Davies Street. Looks like it's our turn, so we'll cross. Let's keep walking here. Over here is one of our London drugs. This is the Davy Street edition. <laughs> and London drugs is, uh, is one of those medium class stores that you don't always see. It's a mix of a shopper's drug mart and a Canadian tire, or if you're in the States, a Walmart and a Walgreens. Oftentimes in Canada, though, what you'll have is you'll have those bigger box stores like Canadian tire, or those smaller stores like Shoppers Drug Mart. But over here in Western Canada, it's interesting to see that we have London Drugs, and London Drugs are also available in Alberta as well, so the province adjacent to British Columbia. But you don't see it over in Ontario or Quebec, so it's really interesting to see it over here. And we do have Shoppers Drug Mart and Canadian Tire as well. Well, London Drugs, you can get everything from your keys cut, to a laptop, <laughs> to a kayak, and to <laughs> you know your laundry detergent <laughs> and your prescription medicines. So, really interesting, interesting store. <laughs> Let's keep walking here on Davies Street. Yeah, this driver isn't doing anything wrong. They're just pulling up and they can pull out for a turn. Let's keep walking. That was a Bach beer t-shirt. <laughs> wow, I haven't seen one of those in a while. Very cool. Oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. <laughs> right here is Quick Nickel Clothing. They got beach wear in there, so if you want to get a beach, uh, quick swimsuit, that's something you can see. And you can see beach goers heading off for the day after they spend some time down at the beach. And those backpack chairs have become quite a beach going accessory here in Vancouver. Keep walking here. I've had the drinks at the <laughs> Looks like some Australians who just picked up some <laughs> electric lettuce stuff from the local Imaginist store over here. I would prefer actually Canna Cabana or um, uh, the city <clears throat> the city shops, except for the Robson City Shop. That one is for the tourists specifically. <laughs> And overpriced, but uh, in the city electric lettuce shops and the can of cabana shops are, are all pretty much evenly priced properly. Keep going here. Now we're down at Denman Street. Let's head this way and we'll walk past the Three Brits public house as well as Hook, which is right on over here. It's your fish and chips location. There's a crosswalk right over here we can cross. And if you're a fan of craft, there's a craft house right on over there for uh, beer as well. And this would be the intersection of Demon Street and Beach 
and Demon Street ends here and merges into Beach Avenue right there. And then Beach Avenue continues all the way past here and up to Stanley Park. So we're just waiting for the light to change here. The are down here, there's another few options. Cactus Club is also very popular right on over there. Across the street here. Now I'll just dip and down here right now for a minute. Wow, there's a lot of people using loud music down here today. <laughs> oh, it's starting to cut out. That's good for me. <laughs> Having to deal with the copyright strike. Here's our palm trees right here. <laughs> We're not copyright strike, copyright warning. Easy to deal with with a video. It's a little more difficult with the live stream, but uh, YouTube is really good at giving you the tools to deal with that. And this is English Bay Beach here. And what's important to point out right now is we got the Honda Celebration of Life set up down there. And if you actually head down this way, you can see that they got the scaffolding set up a little bit ways down here for some of the seating. And they're gonna have giant fireworks for three days firing off there during the week between, the, I believe, the 21st to the 27th. So it's coming up and that is definitely a marker for the summer season here in Vancouver. Good to see. Definitely good to see. <laughs> There's our police officers over there. <laughs> I'll see them in a minute. <laughs> they're not riding cars, they're not riding bicycles, they're riding horses. And just another way to get around fast. Can't drive the cars on the grass. Horses won't hurt the grass with their hooves as much, so it's just good to see. It's good to see the VPD out and about in the city. Thank you, VPD, for being awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> that is just so cool. And they're just part of the regular beach patrol and patrol down here. You'll see them often weaving in and amongst the apartment buildings over here, too, down in the Denman village. <laughs> Keep walking here. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, see here, there's several people that just come out and chill out on the grass here. Not everyone wants the, the beach. The beach, the sand can get very hot in the sun. I'll keep walking here. Now there's other people like me that have allergies to and dust and stuff like that. And while I love going to the beach, sometimes they can get a little too dusty. <laughs> and that can just make me all stuffed up, which is unfortunate, but... Hey, if you can enjoy the beach, come on down and enjoy the beach. It's great. You might try. <laughs> This would be the seawall we're walking along right now. It's called the Stanley Park Seawall Path. We're currently in English Bay Beach Park. But once we, if we went up even further along this path, you'll end up in Stanley Park. And then you got a whole lot of park that you can walk around in and around the perimeter along the seawall path. <laughs> I 
people sitting on the benches enjoying themselves this time of day. There's a larger, older population in this area as well. So just something to be aware of if you are coming to in the community. There's another shot of the barge for you. Oh, the fireworks are going to come off. It's quite a show. So if you are in, in the area during that time from the 21st to the 27th, just look up online, Honda Celebration of Lights Vancouver. You know, I'll generally pull up that information for you so you can see what it's all about. Anyways, folks, I am going to chill out here and relax and enjoy the breeze for a few minutes. So thanks for coming along. Just remember to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Okay? Have a good day.